Welcome back to Poker Tonight, brought to you by UB.net. We're now joined in studio by UFC ring announcer and poker player Bruce Buffer. Bruce, thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you very much. I have to say it again. I'm not used to being the least dressed person on a TV show. <laughs> uh, it's very surprising. You guys look great. Still thank the coolest you. dressed, though. The oh, coolest easily, dressed by easily. far. The <laughs> least okay, trend. Take, We're now I'll the least it. trending. <laughs> I'll grab it. I'll take all I can get. That's good. How do you kind of see the similarities between UFC and poker, and, and where do you think the future is going for both of those sports slash games? The mental similarities of fighting and playing poker are all there. I mean, it's the, uh, the adage of you go in to either knock the guy out or get knocked out. When, we, when you push your chips all right, in, absolutely. same thing as walking to the center of the ring and saying, I am going to take this guy out. If you charge, you're going to get knocked out or you're going to knock the other guy out. There's no two ways about it. Now, Bruce, I've even heard in the works that there might be a Bruce Buffer poker room. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, there is. I mean, it kind of blows me away, too. As much as I love the game, I'll... Looks like I'll be having my own poker room in Vegas. We're in final negotiations right now. Happens to be with the Luxor Hotel. And uh, one of the great things about that is we do so many UFCs in town. So there could be special tournaments, come play me, big cash games, come play me, that kind of thing. I'll bring in fighters from the UFC. And, you know, it's going to be a great fan <laughs> room. Uh, there'll be memorabilia for sale, oh, you great. know, merchandise of all kinds. And uh, I think it's going to be a nice experience, not just for the UFC fans, but for poker in general, because the Luxor's looking to pump it up. Now, the Buffer 180, very famous now for it, and their name in every move that you do. <laughs> I would love to see you teach Seabock how to do the Buffer 180. How surprising, 180. how surprising. Let's do it. So give me an idea here. I love though. how I always put you up to this. It's just, I'm used to it. I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> All right, right, so so now, should I watch first? How yeah, you watch me, me watch okay, me first. Okay, okay. Let me back up. So now, blue corner, red corner, audience, octagon, the whole bit. All right? So now you're doing your introductions, you're trying to put as much fire into it as you can to get the crowd going. So then, it's like, Introducing first, right? Now, look, I'm all the way over here, okay? Introducing all first. All right. Now, the key word is fighting, all right? So, fighting! And like that. <laughs> and you like that, right? So, you have to literally right. torque and turn your entire body. This is going to be trouble, okay. And you can, you, the Will trick this be is, more or less feet. embarrassing okay. than Joanna Krupa? We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> but the trick is in the feet. So, you're turning, right? Now, see how my heel is off the ground here? Oh, so you come all the way back, yeah. okay. And you've got the balls of your feet. And then okay. you turn like that. And you got to rip it, okay, yeah. here. Because if you don't, you could have a problem with your hips. Okay, so okay. I could come out and I could say, over here, he's Scott Huff, he's skinny, he's <laughs> Jewish, but this is Buffer over here. Okay, now that was, better, more no? of a, that was more Too of much? like a 240. You want to look that way. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying, to, I'm oh, trying okay. to reach to you. You faked me out over here. No, but I'll tell you, that was but pretty it, but quick. But it a good start. You can go to Dana. <laughs> Give him credit. That was pretty good. That Not was bad. very well quick. Done. Well done. Was it a good start? I like that. We'll work on it if you'll help me. Now, if we can put like 12,000 people in the arena, a tuxedo, see, a half pressure. a pound microphone, right? The pressure starts. Yeah, see, I, yeah. I think I would have a hard time. No, <laughs> actually, I case. think you might do well, Joe. <laughs> the Seabock a... 240, we have coined it here <laughs> on the show. All right, well, now it's time to go on the clock. Here is how it's going to work. You have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can that we ask you. If you don't know the answer or you do not want to answer, you just say fold, and we will go on to the next question. Right now, the leader in this is Trishel Canatella, formerly of the Real World Las Vegas. She has I can't tell you how many she has right, yeah, so I'm not going to tell you. I, I, can't, I can't give it up to you, but right now she is in the lead, and she is right now in the lead to win our gorgeous On the Clock Poker Tonight trophy. At the end of the season, whoever has the most right will it's take tangible. down this You're trophy. You're playing for something. It's tangible. I, now I'm getting excited. Yeah, All right. <laughs> so, Floor, can we start the clock? <laughs> Who won the 2010 NBC National Heads Up Poker Championship? Wow. You can pass. Pass. Who is the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world? Manny Pacquiao. Which hand in poker is referred to as the dead man's hand? Pardon me. Fighter in the world? Fighter in the world. Anderson Silva, sorry. <laughs> Which hand in poker is referred to as the dead man's hand? Aces and eights. What does the United Arab Emirates export more of to the U.S., oil or aluminum? Aluminum. What are the odds of being dealt a pocket pair in Texas Hold'em? I want to say uh, 20 to 1. Have you ever shopped online at Condom Depot? No. <laughs> what two poker players are tied for the most WPT titles? Uh, Johnny Chan and Phil Hellmuth. What is a buffer state? What? What is a buffer state? <laughs> a buffer state? Mm -hmm. Wow. Boy, I'm supposed to know that, huh? <laughs> Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. That's all I mean. Finish this song lyric. You're the best around from the Karate Kid. Oh, that's time. That's time. Wow, that's tough too. 
You're the best. We are out of time. <laughs> and you got four correct total. Who won the 2010 NBC National Heads Up Poker Championship? That was Andy Duke Ooh. this year. What are the odds of being dealt a pocket pair in Texas Hold'em? That is 16 to 1, so you were very close there. And what two poker players are tied for the most WPT titles? You have Gus Hansen, and now Carlos Mortensen just tied him last week. Oh, that was my mistake. I was thinking bracelets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good enough. It's tough. People are throwing questions at you like that. It's hard. Yeah. yeah it Buffer State, is. Joe? Do you have an answer to that? I, 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 I don't even I know don't what that really means. Know what the I have to is. know the answer to that for my own personal <laughs> pleasure. I'm sorry. You should. You definitely, definitely should. <laughs> well, thank you. Very good job, and thanks for coming in. We really appreciate it. I wish you guys all the best. This is great. <laughs> thank Love you, it. Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. When we come back, time for our latest Girl of Poker feature with Liv Worry. Right after this on Poker Tonight. Poker Tonight has been brought to you by UB.net. Raise, stack, own. Welcome back to Poker Tonight. Let's now go to Dana Workman for our latest Girls of Poker feature. Dana? Thanks, Scott. Liv Bory came onto the poker scene a couple of years ago and has quickly become one of the game's more popular players. Smart, attractive, and as we learn in our latest Girls of Poker feature, she can shred on a guitar. Hi, I'm Liv Bory. I'm a professional poker player, and I'm here at the studio at the Palms. And I'm going to be playing some guitar for you guys, so uh, get your earplugs ready. So you recently did a photo shoot for Maxim. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was, um, yeah, we, we arranged it and uh, ended up doing the shoot in the most pimped out apartment you've ever seen, like overlooking the Empire State Building and everything. And uh, yeah, it was like a very glamorous style shoot. What did you think about the photo on the toilet? The photo on the toilet. I've been asked so many questions about that. Um, it was uh, it was kind of done as like a as a as a laugh basically. Uh, we were in this doing a shoot in this bathroom. It was a beautiful bathroom. There was this crazy stainless steel, steel toilet, and I was like, well, "That's a really pretty toilet. I should be sitting on it." And I was like, "Well, sit on it then. Let's take a photo." I was like, uh, "All right. I feel like this is going to bite me in the ass, but okay." So I sat down and uh, we did the photo, and it was it was a fun. It was cool. It wasn't like my favorite one, but then since then I was like, oh my god, like, don't you think it's really trashy, you know, being seen on the toilet? I was like, I'm not actually taking a dump, it's just, you know, it's just a bit of tongue in cheek. You got out of university where your degree was physicist, astrophysicist? That's right, physics with astrophysics, yeah. Is your family like, what the hell are you doing now? <laughs> yeah, they were to start with, they were just like, my dad had these little, you know, these aspirations that I was going to be the next Nobel Prize winner in physics and I was going to discover something amazing. And I sort of went to him and I was like, yeah, I don't really want to do that. But now, like, they see sort of where, where I am and what I'm doing and they're, they're so supportive. So it's really good. Are you single? Uh, no, I'm dating Ali Prescott, that guy over there. He's hiding. Do you plan to play a full slate of tournaments from the World Series? Yeah, uh, that's the plan. I'm, I've been at last learning the other games as well, you know, some of the mixed games. Like, Raz is my new favorite thing in the world. I, I can't stop playing it. I just, I'm like, is there a Raz tournament going? Oh, it's $5, fine, I'll play that. And then there's the crazy solo, and I don't know. <laughs> Well, clearly multi-talented and also a brawler. She is the reigning World Series of Poker female, I don't know, lightweight champion of the world over Melissa Castello last summer. Or is she going to try to actually defend that title this year? Well, I don't know if it's going to be another girl-on-girl -girl bout. She did absolutely take apart Melissa, like you said. And I've heard that there's been some talk that some of the guys in poker might get into the ring with her, which I think would be more fun. How about you? You going to get in the ring? Not going to happen. Not right. going to happen. Please don't. Well, that's it for this week. Join us next week as we give our first 2010 World Series of Poker preview and feature Erica Schoenberg as our latest girl of poker. Until then, we leave you with this.